Hello, I'm Dr. Crowley and welcome to Case of the Day. Today we're going to discuss um, a um, group of patients that come in almost every day with dry eyes, which dry eyes is probably the most common eye disease that eye doctor will see in their office. And so uh, I thought I would cover uh, what is composed, what are your eyes, or your tear film, what is it made of, and what it comprises your tear film. So we're going to go over that and try to also clear up uh, people are always confused about my tear ducts are not working or are not working well and they confuse that with actually the glands that produce the tears. People think the ducts um, actually produce the tears when it's not the case. So we're going to go over the different layers of your tear film. So we're going to start with the bottom mucus layer of your tear film which is around the surface of your eye. There's little goblet cells and these goblet cells produce the mucus bottom layer of your tear film that's right on the surface of your eye. And so those cells um, are important uh, because that first layer you've got to have a stable platform for the tears to, to rest on. And then the next layer is a liquid or water layer that's produced by the lacrimal gland that's up here on the outer underneath the lid up here in the outer corner of the orbit this lacrimal gland then secretes tears into your eyes and so when you get emotionally upset or uh, you get something in your eye then that lacrimal gland pours a lot of water but it normally produces tears at a sort of steady flow for the liquid layer of your tear film. And then the outer layer of your tear film is called a lipid or oily layer and that lipid or oily layer covers over the water layer and the purpose or the function of the oily layer is to protect you, the liquid part from evaporating off your eye and obviously oils the lubricant. So that layer is important as well. And so that layer is produced by glands in your eyelid that secrete oil onto your tear film. So I hope this will show up but I'm going to hold and you can see the little glands that are in the lid. This machine takes uh, a image, sort of a 3D image of the glands where we flipped your lid inside out so we can see the glands. And so you have a row of glands all the way across your lid and they secrete oil into your tear film and that's called, those are called meibomian glands. So meibomian gland disease or dysfunction is the most common cause of dry eyes. That is the oily layer is not sufficient it lets the liquid layer evaporate off your eye and therefore it leads to dry eye. So then when the liquid layer is evaporates away, then the minerals of your body and in your tear film then become concentrated. So the salt level in your tear film becomes elevated and then salt causes inflammation. So now that just makes things get worse and the glands and cells get even sicker. And so just like there's no fish that live in the Dead Sea because the salt concentration is too high, Many people with dry eyes have these salt levels very high and that causes inflammation which when you listen to the TV commercial about restasis it says dry eyes due to chronic inflammation. So inflammation due to elevated salt levels is sort of the bottom line culprit of what causes dry eyes. There's many risk factors for dry eyes but that's the, that's the, the culprit for the inflammation. So you have a goblet cells on the surface of your eye that produce the bottom mucus layer, the lacrimal gland produces the water layer, and then the meibomian glands produce the oily layer of your tear film. You have to have all three of those layers in the right proportions for your tear film to be stable and for your vision to be clear because the first thing that light hits to be focused into your retina is how smooth is the tear film covering over your cornea. If, just like if you're in a lake that, where there's clear water and there's no wind, you can see down through into the water. But as soon as there are waves or ripples in the lake, then you don't see as well. So it's the same thing with your vision. That tear film has to be smooth across your cornea. So this goes across your cornea. There's a smooth tear film. So when light focuses through to your retina, it is a smooth surface and it gives you clear vision. So commonly people who have dry eyes have intermittent blurred vision and they have more trouble with blurred vision when they read, watch TV, look at a computer, those kind of things because when you do those things you concentrate, you blink less, your eye dries out more. And we now have young kids come in and with dry eyes at a 12 year old girl in uh, about a month ago and all they're doing is gaming all day long. 
And so they're not going to blink, they're not going to miss one laser blast, and now they're getting dry eyes. So it's important to have a good tear film, have healthy eyelids, and all three layers of your tear film are important for you to have a nice tear film and stable, comfortable eyes. So if you have any questions about dry eyes or tear film or any of that kind of thing, uh, please contact us through the website. If not, may God grant you healthy eyes and great vision.